Rob here, and today I've got my 13-year-old son Chase here, and we've decided that we are going to put Linux on the family computer. So we've got an HP Pavilion uh, 23. It's kind of an all-in-one device, and uh, this has had Windows 10 on it. And Chase, what has happened? I just want people to realize this. So what has happened update-wise with the computer now when you boot in and try to do anything um it basically like will slow down and almost like freeze and then we'll just have to turn it off turn it back on and it'll it's just really slow and won't won't really do anything fast now, now in the beginning when we got it it was great and we've had multiple updates i just want people to know i'm not bashing windows or windows 10 i'm a i'm uh i'm not someone who hates microsoft by any stretch it's just what has happened, and we've all decided that it's time for Linux. So, in order to show how easy it is, Chase, this is your first time installing Linux ever. So, we're going to yep. step through the process. And we've decided, since this is going to be the family computer, that we want to keep everything nice and simple. So, we're installing Elementary OS. So, Chase, instead of trying Elementary, what we want to do is install Elementary. All right. So, you just go ahead and step through the process. Now you want to make sure you see your language there on the left, so yeah, it's, it's defaulted to English. Now it's going to ask if you want to connect to the network. We're not going to do that right now, so just go ahead and leave that as at uh, uh, I don't want to. No, go ahead to continue. Now it's asking you if you want to install third-party software. Go ahead and click that because there may be uh, things that uh, like drivers and things that we mm -hmm. want to install. So we're going to click next. Are you nervous? No. <laughs> okay. All right. So we'll step through the process here. Still kind of that like slowness. Well, once this gets installed, you'll see a major yeah. difference. And this is not a three uh, USB 3.0 device or anything like that. Yeah. This that's standard two point. All right. So what you, what we are going to do here is we're going to erase the disk, wipe everything, and then install now. Right. So you've you've checked what you needed to. So just over, come on over here to install now. All right. We've decided we're just going to wipe Windows completely. I backed everything up to a hard drive, so that's telling you if. You go ahead and click continue here. You're going to basically wipe everything and destroy all the data. So it's all on you, son, if you click next, okay? All right, go ahead, hit continue. There we go. Now here it's asking you where you are, and you've, so you've got to choose the time zone. So are you comfortable with that? Is that where we are? Yep. All right, so go ahead. And it's asking you here about your keyboard layout. So you want English, yeah. English US. So hit continue. <clears throat> you feeling good about this? Mm -hmm. All so right. So want... for nope, with an I. Is that not? He he, he is even... he is smart, folks. I'm telling you, he's smart. He's just he's well, under pressure I mean, here. All Linux right now. Be spelled All right so now. Go ahead here under words. username. Just leave it as it is. Now for the password, uh, all right, you want to choose login automatically in this case so that we don't we don't have to worry about it. All right, hit continue. The next could be spelled like four different ways. All right, let's not get hung up on the spelling there. <laughs> All right, so now we're going through the process here. Are you uh, pretty good with all this so far? You feel like feel so like, far it's easy? Yeah. I mean, it's not any big big changes from what I've already had to do with downloading other things like games and stuff like that. You just have to kind of read through and then click the right things. Yep. Yep. I and would agree. Wait, a lot of waiting. Right. All right, so I'm going to pause this right here as we go through the uh, rest of the install, just for the sake of time. So we're back, and the installation finished, and uh, 
So we're at the screen now where it says uh, everything is complete and uh, we're just going to restart now. Yep. All right, so here we go. Let's see what happens. Go right ahead. Now you may get to a point, um, and it should be, there we go. I was going to say it may ask you to remove the USB mm -hmm. uh, flash drive, but at this point it hasn't, so you're okay. And we're going to boot in here for the first Please time. Yeah, there you go, so go ahead and remove that. And what else you got to do? Press enter. All right. Kind of exciting. It's always fun when you boot in the first time to Linux. You know, this is your first mm -hmm. Linux install. Never been really that big in Linux. That's yeah. All. I mean, I remember the time I first installed Linux with my father. No, not really. <laughs> okay, here we go. Lifelong cherished memories. That's right. <laughs> yeah, we would sit on the dock with our laptops and install Linux for hours upon hours. <laughs> the whole city would bring their laptops to us to install it. Oh, well, looks like it's starting to boot up. Yep. There it is. Popping up. There it is. All right. Now what are you going to do? Good question. I'm gonna, <laughs> You've never seen this I'm gonna before. I'm going to go to applications first. Just and you're just going to check it out? Look at that. You found applications. <laughs> so you got screenshot, photos, music. looks like yep. basically everything else you'd have. Now, we're not connected to the network yet. No, so, no. But let's see. Is if you just want to tr try to click on something and just do like pop open the calendar, for example. Yeah. There's a little jump right there. See how fast that was? Yeah. And you can pull it up real quick. Pull it out real quick. Was that happen? Was yeah. Now you tell me. Now that was, was that what? was something that didn't happen well with the Microsoft or with with Windows because it would. I mean, simple stuff like this, just coming in, closing out. It's just simple stuff like that. It would have a problem doing that, especially if you had something else going on. And, um, it, I mean, it would be really just extremely slow. And so you couldn't go from this to, I mean, that was pretty quick. You couldn't make this big, make it small, come so, out of here. And then so let me ask you, what's this? the first piece of software that you personally want to install on here? I think I know what it is. What were we talking about Oh, uh, probably Steam. Yeah. Steam. Maybe. Yeah. And then. Yeah. So we'll get Steam set up, and uh, we're thinking about just give you a little inside here. We're thinking about maybe Chase reviewing a few Linux games on Steam, yeah. just to uh, get us a few videos there on some really cool games. So are you up for that, son? Yes, definitely. All right, and you know this is not a paid gig, right? You know this is like a free. Free thing Free you're going to do. It's like room and board is what you're getting right now, right? <laughs> yeah. All right. So there we go. Uh, you know, and if you um, if you have any questions about anything we did here, just feel free to message us and appreciate you watching. Um, son, I'm proud of you. This is your first Linux install. This yeah. is awesome. Might have to do this a few more times than other things. <laughs> well, we may try so, a few other distros on yeah, the, on the so family PC. I'm glad that I learned how to do this because, let's say you're on way on a business trip now i know how to do it there you go awesome yep. all right we're gonna wrap it up thanks for watching